We're all going to get knocked off course. We're all going to get in the ditch sometimes, but as long as we keep focused on where we're going, we'll be able to see further as we continue to move in the direction of our goals with the right attitude as we're staying daily motivated and as we're committed to excellence. And excellence is about raising your own bar. It's about constant improvement. It's about raising your own personal standards and knowing as good as I was yesterday, I can be better tomorrow. Hey everybody, this is Billy Cox. I want to welcome you back to our Break Free podcast where we talk about everything from business, sales, leadership, life, and the thing that everybody wants to talk about, money. And if you'll notice, the podcast room is set up a little bit differently today. We have some super cool things coming your way, so stay tuned for that. As for right now, let's get into today's show. I'm very excited about it. 19 years ago, I wrote a book, my first book, that was a game changer for me. It took me eight years to write the book, and the title of the book is You Gotta Get In The Game, and it's in its fifth printing now. It's sold copies all over the world, and this launched me into my speaking career and training and There's just been a multitude of different things, a chain reaction that's happened because of this. So I'm excited to sort of go back and share with you the success tips that were in the book and the seminars and the events that I was able to do all across the nation. We have two new books coming out this year, and I'm going to even share a few of those things and how the basic principles in the first book apply to you today and how you can use them to increase your performance in any area that you want to. Think about this. In the game of life, there's no timeouts. There's no overtimes. You only get one chance to play this game. And the question that you have to ask yourself is simply this. Do I want to wait on the sidelines of life or do I want to win? If you want to win, you got to get in the game. And most people sometimes aren't even really sitting on the sidelines. Some people don't even have a, a ticket to the game. They don't even, they're not even up in the cheap seats. So sometimes maybe we're living up in the cheap seats, and sometimes we don't even really have a ticket to the game. So throughout this podcast today, I'm going to share with you what I believe are some very valuable and basic tips that are going to help you get your ticket, <laughs> um, get in, Maybe get down to the more expensive seats or on the sideline, but eventually take that giant leap to where you're on the playing field and you're making things happen. And I believe this with all of my heart, that success for you is a decision away. Most people have really never just sat down and made that clear, conscious decision that I'm going to do it no matter what period. Most people, when they make a decision, it's just you know a simple thought, things that they do on a daily basis, but they really don't put much thought into it or much powder behind that decision. But a clear decision leaves yourself no outs. Most people say, I'm going to do it, Billy. That's it, no matter what. And they put a comma after it. And what comma means is this. Comma means someday, when everything gets perfect, one of these days, I'm going to do it and I'm going to make it happen. But the clear, the top performers, the champions, the winners, those that are really out there, the go-getters, the doers, the movers, the shakers, the people that are making it happen are the ones that just say, period, no matter what. They leave their self absolutely no outs. They just jump in and start doing it and get in the game. And in order to do that, it's going to take a couple of things before we really dive into the heart of the book. It's going to take teamwork. There's no one out there. there I, there's no I in team. That's a simple, basic philosophy. Maybe you've heard it before. There's no I in team, but I is right in the middle of win. And with a team of people around you, you can win. There's a philosophy out there. Not a philosophy. It's actually just a a formula. It's called synergy. It's part of the mastermind effect. And what that means is by yourself, you'll never have enough lifetimes to figure out exactly what to do. 
but when you have a team of people around you and when you have a coach, when you're coachable, so you got to have teamwork and you got to be coachable. When you have a team of people around you, you can win. Again, right at, I is right in the middle of win. But when you have more than one mind together, when you put two minds together, you create an energy and a synergy where one plus one does not equal two. One plus one equals three or four or seven or 15. It's an exponential multiplication of your thoughts and your ideas because one idea alone is only one idea, but two ideas emerges a third and more powerful idea. So you need, whether you're in business, sales, leadership, life, whatever you're doing, it's going to take teamwork to make any new level of success happen in your life. And by sharing those ideas and caring together and working in harmony, there's nothing that's impossible. When you have a coachable mindset, meaning I'm willing to listen and I'm willing to learn and I'm willing to look around me and see other people that are doing well and start to do some of the things that they're doing and read the books, put in the time, then eventually you're going to start to achieve some of those results. So again, a decision, it's going to take a decision. It's going to take being coachable, listening to other people, finding out what other people are doing, having some mentors and things like this. And it's going to take a team of people, even Tiger Wood, even the greatest golfers. You say golf is not a team sport. Even the the greatest um, golfers in the world had a team of people around them, their caddies and their coaches and their instructors and even their parents and when they were little helping them and taking them that helped them achieve that next level of success. So as we get into the get in the game part of this, I'm going to talk to you about um, the, the first thing I'm going to share with you is about goals. So the G in get in the game stands for goals, but it also stands for goals backed up with desire. And a lot of people say, oh, goal, we're into this goal thing again or whatever. But the solid foundation for any level of success is clarity, and that is knowing exactly what you want. How many of you out there would get on an airplane today if you do much flying, if the pilot said, hey, we're on the plane, but we're not sure, sure where we're going, and eventually we're going to end up somewhere. You're going to go, <laughs> no, you'd have to be crazy to get on that plane. Now, I know a few of you out there, you're going, I'd love to get on that plane. But most people would not get on that plane. We get on the plane because the pilot has a game plan. The pilot knows where he's going. He knows the destination, and he knows if you're in Dallas, Texas, he knows in two and a half hours I'm going to fly this plan. I may get off course a little bit, but eventually I'm going to end up in Orlando, Florida. And you have confidence in that. And that's what happens when you get clear about the goals and you get clear about the things you want. You will start to move in that direction. And when you back those, what I've learned over the years is I've learned you can streamline your success towards goal setting by backing it up with a burning desire, that passion, that deep down in the side of the gut feeling that I'm going to do it no matter what. And when you take a goal and you back it up with a burning desire, that's the foundational stone for achieving anything that you want to achieve in life. Most people just don't set their goals big enough, or most people don't even have any really goals at all. They have a foggy notion of what it is that they want, but they have no clarity on where they're moving in life. Zig Ziglar, one of my biggest mentors, said that most people are wondering generalities instead of meaningful specifics. If you want to be a meaningful, meaningful specific, get clear about what it is you want and get a plan to achieve it. But when you're getting clear, when you're setting these goals, again, it goes back to desire and understanding the passion that's inside and understanding why do you want that goal. A lot of people write down these goals as vague goals and things they say they want, but they really don't think 
and put, put much time into setting the goal. And therefore, it has no powder or power behind it. Your goal has to have the desire that's going to wake you up early, the desire that's going to keep you up late. If it's going to move you, if it's going to shake you up, if it's going to wake you up, and if it's going to drive you. So you've got to have that desire. So when you write down a goal in your personal life, in your professional life, for your health, for your wealth, for your finances, for any area that you want to, relationships, any area that you want to achieve success, you have to go, does it fire me up? Does it excite me? Does it motivate me, if you want to use the word motivation? Does it inspire me? And if it doesn't give you a feeling deep down inside that's a little bit scary, that fires you up a little bit, it's not really a goal. It's sort of a wish or a thing, or you just talked about it, but you're not serious about it. I'm going to tell you, you want to get in the game? You want to achieve the next level of success? Get serious about your goals and dreams. Get serious about your future. Get serious about the things that you want to do in life because you only have a very limited amount of time. And make sure you're working working on the things that you have a burning desire inside to achieve and that you're passionate about. You've got to have a goal and you've got to have desire behind it. You've got to want to win. And you've got to want to win so bad that you're going to move heaven and you're willing to move earth to make it happen. And I know many of you have had times in your life where you had that passionate goal that you were going for, that it was the thing that you were laser-like focused in on, and you were 100% committed to it, and you're like, wow, I went out, I did it, I made it happen. And you look back and go, how did I do that? Bring that same passion into your goals and dreams and the things that you want to achieve today. And if you do that, you're going to achieve a whole new level of success as you move forward in the future. Will it be easy? Absolutely not. Was it possible? 100%. It's totally possible. The A in get in the game is attitude. And I'm backing up attitude with expectancy. If you want to be a winner, you've got to start thinking like a winner. Your attitude is something that is contagious. It spreads around to your friends, your family, your coworkers. It can be your best friend or your worst enemy. It can take you to places you never even imagined, or it can be the single most limiting factor in your life. And attitude is a choice. It's something that you get to choose each and every day. How do you control your attitude? The first thing you have to do is you have to guard your mind. Just as if you're playing on the playing field of sports, sometimes you're on defense, sometimes you're on offense. And sometimes the best strategy for winning is being on defense. And when it comes to attitude, today we're being bombarded with a plethora of things around us from the media to social media to politics to even family and friends, and we're being pulled in more directions, and we have access to more information than we've ever had before. We need to realize and recognize that most of it is not going to move you in the direction that you want to go. Most of it is self-limiting. Most of it is very negative, and it takes 17 positives to overcome one negative. So if you learn to guard your mind ahead of time, and when you start to think negative thoughts, cancel them we got a powerful mind. If you'll recognize that, hey, I'm a, I'm a little bit negative today. I don't feel that great today. Start to cancel the negative thoughts and say, get away from me, negative thought, and replace it with something good. Replace it with something that is positive. Think about it. Do you wake up every day and you go, you know, what's going on? You know, poor me. I've got all these different challenges and all these different things that are going on out there in the world, or do you wake up with a positive expectancy? It's all a choice. And do you wake up saying, today is not that good. I've just got to go to work. I've got to get up. I got to go do all these things. Or do you wake up saying, hey, I get to. It's a brand new day. Can't change the past, but I can change today. Do you wake up 
with a positive expectancy, looking forward to the day, believing and trusting that great things are going to happen to you today. That's what waking up with an attitude of expectancy is about. When you get hit with negative things, do you go, why do all these things always happen to me? Or do you go, hey, that's part of life. I'm learning from them. I'm growing from them. I'm getting tougher. I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. And something good is going to come of this. And you keep launching and moving forward. That's what the winners do. That's what the champions do. We all have the same amount of time each day. We all have the same negative stuff coming at us. It's a matter of perspective, and it's a matter of what you choose to do with all of this information. So you guard your mind, and then you proactively focus on what's good. You even start to develop this attitude of gratitude, and that is just it's simply this, being grateful for what you have right now. We all have things that we can be grateful for, and if you want to have an attitude of expectancy, there's no room for the ungratefulness. That means in if you're going to have an attitude of expectancy, you have to combine gratitude in there because if we aren't grateful for what we have now, how can we expect to be grateful when we have more? If we are grateful for what we have now, it's going to increase our expectancy and our internal belief that, hey, I can do more, I can have more. So you've got to have the A in there is attitude. You've got to have an attitude of gratitude. The M is motivation. And a lot of people are talking, you know, they're like, well, you know, motivation. I don't like all that motivation stuff and all these different things. But motivation is something that will give you a spark. So if you're feeling down, get some temporary motivation. Motivation may not be the thing that truly is just this lasting cure-all, fix-all, but we all need the times where we need motivation. We need to hang around the right people. We need to listen to a good audio. We need to put in a good book. So motivation is really what gets you started. So if you look at motivation as something that you do daily and it's something that you plug in something good, something pure, something positive, something powerful, and you get fired up temporarily, and then you put your passion behind it because motivation will get you started. Passion and purpose will keep you in the game. Purpose is simply this. Purpose is understanding why you do what you do. Purpose will wake you up early. Purpose will keep you up late. And purpose will drive you to the next level of your destiny. So understanding your why is part of motivation. Also, understanding and having um, some belief. Belief in yourself. That's part of motivation. Belief is a foundational stone for motivation. Belief is simply the feeling of certainty that something is going to happen. So you have to develop that positive belief in yourself that you are in control. Most people feel like outside circumstances control their future. And what that does is that limits your mindset. So you have to have a motivation of a, 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 a positive mindset. So to be motivated, it also means, like I said, controlling your mind, controlling your mindset, having a motivating, positive mindset. So there are two types of mindsets. There's a scarcity mindset, or and there's a fixed mindset. What that means is, is you believe that outside circumstances control everything. Outside circumstances control your future. You have really nothing to do with it. That means you're walking around like a zombie in the world, listening to everything else, living in this reality that everybody else controls your future and your destiny, and you can't do nothing about it. And if you choose to live in that mindset, that's fine but you're going to live the same same day, same week, same month, same year, over and over again with no growth. Or you can have a growth mindset. A growth mindset says, I'm in control of me. I'm in control of my future. A growth mindset, you get up and you look in the mirror and you say, if it is to be, it's up to me. And if I go out there today with the right mindset, with the right attitude, with my goals and a vision for the future and clarity of purpose, then 
good things are going to happen. I'm going to grow, and the things that I want are going to start materializing in my life. Because when you're super clear, and when you have the goals that you're moving for with the right attitude, and you're daily motivated, you will move in the direction of your goals and dreams, and your goals and dreams will move in the direction of you, and eventually you're going to cross paths. It happens every single time. It's happened for millions of people around the world, and it can happen for you. But you have to believe internally that you can do it. You have to look in the mirror and say, it's up to me. Nobody else controls this but me. It's my time. Nobody's going to steal it, and I'm going to do it. That's it, no matter what, period. You got your goals. You got to have the right attitude. You got to get daily motivated. But then the E, you've got to commit to excellence. And I say back it up with energy. And what is excellence? Excellence is about never settling for less than your very best. It's taking pride in what you're doing. It's not just building the cake, but it's putting the icing on top of the cake and then putting a cherry on top of the icing. It's the small things that you do every single day that makes you into who and what you will be someday. You've got to stand for something or you're going to fall for anything. Stand up for your goals. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for your future. And remember, we're in a really fast-paced world. Today's world, everybody wants to live in the microwave society. I'm going to push the button, and all of a sudden, my food's going to be cooked. I'm going to get on the elevator, and I'm going to go to the top immediately. And you see all of these people out here posting all of these crazy reels and all these things. You make $10,000 tomorrow, make $50,000 next month, do this, do that, do whatever, and it's not real. It's not real in business. It's not real in sales. All they're wanting you to do is give them your money to, so they can tell you some, quote, magic bullet and thinking that that magic bullet is going to give you instant overnight success. I can tell you I've been doing this a long time. I started in sales when I was 17 years old. I've been dead broke. I've been through ups, the downs, the good, the bad, the challenges, the disappointments, the dissatisfaction, the setbacks, and the comebacks. And I can tell you it's not easy. It's possible. It takes a daily grind. It takes doing it every single day. It takes focus. It takes action. And it takes a strong commitment that you're going to, every single day, that you're going to take a step towards the goal, a step towards the dream, a step becoming towards becoming better. You say, I'm not good enough today, Billy. Don't mean you can't be good enough tomorrow. You're going to have to do some small things to make you better. And I'm going to tell you, you've got to do it at rapid pace. If you really want to do it, you really want to hit your goals, you really want to hit your dreams, it's going to take a doing it at a rapid pace. You're going to have to consistently stay 100% focused and on course. Sure, you're going to get knocked off course, but if you got the target that you're looking for, then you're going to get your, and if you look at it every single day, you're going to be able to get right back on course and continue down the path. We're all going to get knocked off course. We're all going to get in the ditch sometimes, but as long as we keep focused on where we're going, we'll be able to see further as we continue to move in the direction of our goals with the right attitude as we're staying daily motivated and as we're committed to excellence. And excellence is about raising your own bar. It's about constant improvement. It's about raising your own personal standards and knowing as good as I was yesterday, I can be better tomorrow. My father taught me this saying, and I've said it before, and you'll hear me say it again, good, better, best, never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best, and because that's been a solid foundation in my life, because I always know that no matter how good I get, no matter how great it's been or how bad it's been, I can get better each and every day. So that's why I have this saying that I tell everybody And it's do something every day that moves you closer to your dreams. It may be studying. It may be reading a book. It may be hanging around mentors. It may be writing in a journal. It may be focused on gratitude. It may be making a sales call. It may be scripting out a sales call. But if you do something every day, then those small daily 
improvements are going to lead to giant leaps in your performance and results over time. So even on the bad days when you're moving forward, commit to excellence and know that I just need to do one thing. Maybe you didn't work out today and maybe you ate the wrong food, but at the end of the day, you can do 10 or 12 push-ups. You can walk around the block and take a few hundred steps. Or you can just decide that I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to do something and I'm going to improve my health. And I want to emphasize this, that health is your greatest wealth. You may think you can get it back. You may think you can buy it back, but you can't. So when I say commit to excellence, I said energy. It takes energy to raise your bar. It takes getting in shape to raise your bar. It takes exercise to raise your bar. Because as you're physically fit, people are going to want to be around you more. It's the bottom line. They're going to want to do business with you more. The better shape that you're in, the better you're going to feel. I have another sign on the wall in there. It says you can't win physically if you're losing mentally. And I can say you can't win mentally if you're losing physically. You can't raise your bar if you're not winning in all of these areas. So you need to combine your business aspects, your sales aspects. Raising your bar in sales. How do you raise your bar in sales? Man, you practice your presentation over and over again. You understand that you're going to get some no's, but you look at everything as a learning growth experience. Most people let fear hold them back. Fear is the chains that bind them, hold them back, and keep them from ever ever moving to that next level of their destiny. But I'm going to tell you that failure is part of the process, and there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Face fear with faith. Fear disappears every single time. You run at your fears, and so you find your biggest fears, you charge at them. And in, when you're in sales or when you're in an entrepreneur, when you're in a business out there, you've got to be willing to step out to find out. You've got to find out what don't work in order to find out what does work. All you have to do to gain confidence, because most people, they don't gain confidence. They, their, their lack of confidence is what's keeping them from taking the next step. Their not, lack of confidence is what's take, keeping them from making the next sales call or asking for that order after the person has already told them no four or five times. And you gain confidence by, number one, by building your knowledge, by building your skills, and by stacking small wins daily will, will give you confidence. And you also gain confidence by simply taking action and looking at every action as a learning experience. See, some people look at no as no. The top performers look at no as simply a learning experience on how I can get a yes in the future if I learn from what I'm doing today. And so if if you have the right perspective, every time that you're out doing something and you feel like you run into a wall, you run into a roadblock, guess what? What that really is is for the successful people is they're fired up about it because guess what? I did something today. I learned from something today that's moving me closer to my goals and to the dreams that I have. So my question to you today is, what is? What's what's your goal? Or what's your dream? What's that passion? What's that fire? What's that purpose? The thing that burns deep down inside of your soul. I know that too many people out there They've lost their dream, and they need to get it back. They need to dream again. Too many people out there need to think again. And I hope today I've laid a foundation for you for some basic strategies that you can use to get off the sidelines, to get a ticket into the game, to get out of the cheap seats, (laughs) down to the, um, you know, onto the playing field and start making those plays and taking action in their strategy for the game of life. However, most people are saying, yeah, Billy, someday I'm going to do it. One day I'm going to do it. And someday means like, you know, after the new year happens, 
when New Year's, when I get those New Year's resolutions, I'm going to do it. And how many times have you done that over the past years? Every year you got that New Year's resolution that don't last but a week or two. It's because it has no passion or purpose or desire. It has no fire. It has no powder behind it. There's got to be a time where you say, I'm going to do it. That's it. No matter what, period. No excuses. It starts right now. And that means that you're going to have to take action that will give you some results, action that will give you some confidence, action that will give you some success, that will drive more action, and that cycle is going to continue. Because that road called someday leads to a town called nowhere. So what it really amounts to is you need to make your someday every day starting today, beginning right now. Thank you for joining our podcast today. We do have some new things coming. We got the new book called Dream Again, Think Again, Dream Again, coming soon. Look forward to sharing that with you. We appreciate you joining us, and we're just getting started. We got a lot of cool things coming your way. Have a great day.